Uh, Mayor Hansel, as a city councilor, you voted against a resolution identifying Keene as a sanctuary city, but it passed anyway. Why as mayor and as a Republican, have you not taken any action to undo or reverse this very clear value statement by the city? Keene is not a sanctuary city, and that resolution did not make Keene a sanctuary city. It was an aspirational uh, resolution on behalf of that city council to call Keene a diverse community, which is fine. I fought against the initiative to make Keene a sanctuary city, and I increased our police budget, pushing back against uh, liberal initiatives to do the opposite. And frankly, it's just not true. This is a lie that's been perpetrated by one of my primary opponents here trying to misquote my record. And it's not true. And uh, Bob Burns just seems to make things up as he goes along. And frankly, the Democrats in this race have been pumping money into our primary to spread his lies far and wide. And it's wrong and it's not right. Well, so Mr. Burns, you have keyed in on this issue saying the mayor runs a sanctuary city and that it's affected the quality of life there in Keene. So what proof do you have that the sanctuary city resolution has made any real world impact? Well, I mean, we can see it in the numbers. I mean, it, it, as far as you look at for drug overdoses, um, they have one of the highest rates in the entire state. And I realize it's a city, but it's the size of a small town, 22,000 people. Um, so we can see the drugs are clearly there in Keene that we don't see in a lot of similar sized communities. And what proof do I have that it's a sanctuary city? I mean, I read it from everywhere else. I didn't realize his opponent was the Keene Sentinel, but in 2017, when he voted on it, the Keene Sentinel clearly recorded the vote that actually happened there. Well, you voted against it, but he didn't disagree with the sentiment of the resolution and he did nothing to fight against it. I'm sorry, if that's the type of fighting that you're gonna to bring to Washington is, well, I'm not gonna vote for this resolution, but I agree with the sentiment. I mean, seriously, you're not gonna get any actual fighting done. Um, that's just not how it's done. So listen, it's, it's absolute fact. And then, and then he went beyond that step. He, he marched with BLM and then he put the sheriff, Eli Rivera, who, who named Cheshire County as a sanctuary county on a social justice board that he created. So I don't know if that if that's fighting sanctuary cities, I must be Mr. confused. Bruce, Mayor Hansel, you have 30 seconds to respond. Again, Bob's, we all know, Bob just makes this stuff up. And then people pick up on it and it spreads around. It's not accurate. It's not accurate. Keene is not a sanctuary city. I did no marching with BLM. That's just not a thing that happened. But we do have an opioid problem in Keene, as many communities in New Hampshire do. And that's why we need to secure the border and do whatever it takes. For far too long, people have talked about it. Nobody's done anything about it. And that includes Republicans and Democrats. When I go down to Washington, I am going to fight every day to make sure we support, secure the border and don't let drugs into our communities anymore.